Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today, let's take a look at different types of material used for rainwater drainage. What works, what works best. There's lots of different kinds of material. We're going to go over Schedule 40 PVC. We're going to go over Thin Wall PVC. We're going to go over SDR 35, the fittings that fit. We're going to use corrugated pipe, show you the easy flow also. Take a look at this video. I think it'll help you understand which pipes work best in all situations. Okay, let's start with three different types of PVC pipe. Everyone's familiar with the four inch PVC scheduled 40 PVC. Everything's got a schedule on it when it's really big pipe. And then you've also seen this thin wall PVC, okay? Thin wall PVC, it says sewer pipe, but anyways, then we also have four inch SDR 35. Can you see that SDR 35? Okay, before we start cutting the PVC, there's something that you really need and that is a good sharp hacksaw blade. So this hacksaw is made by Lennox, but um, the reason I mention all this is I, I got this hacksaw 25 years ago. They actually quit making this model, which is sad, but it's such a great saw that, I mean, it's, it's been out in all the weather. You can imagine all the things that it's been through in 25 years, but they don't make it anymore. So I really tell my guys that if you use my saws or my tools, especially my saw, you better put it back <laughs> because this is such a great saw. I have never had any problems with it. It's just wonderful saw. But anyways, we need to go ahead and get a good blade. So we need a good sharp hacksaw blade on this saw. It's very Most important. Most people will use a hacksaw to cut their PVC pipe. And especially when you're out in the trench, you may not have access to those tools. So a hacksaw becomes your best friend. And the secret to this, it's not hard, but the secret is you've got to cut clear through the pipe. You can see we've got a nice clean edge. Got to clean off the burrs. You can use emery cloth, sandpaper, use your hand, your hacksaw. A lot of things take these burrs off, <laughs> but you got to do all that. And now you've got a piece of pipe that's ready to work. So another great way is to use your reciprocating saw. There are some problems with this because the blade tends to bounce around a lot. But it makes a pretty good cut, as you can see. But you can see that it makes a pretty good straight cut as well. And you can see it makes a nice clean cut. You know, many years ago, before I started Apple Drains, I actually worked for Rotor Rooter. And what I found out was we cleaned thousands and thousands and thousands of lines every year. Roots, they do get in to PVC, no matter what. Um, don't be fooled. <laughs> they will get in here glued. It, it doesn't matter. They seek water, they'll get into this pipe, and they do have to get it cleaned. The chances are less in the PVC, but 
they do get in there. So keep that in mind. So a properly coupled pipe, you can see how clean this pipe is right here. You see how clean that is? All the way around, very flush, very even. It is halfway through your coupling, halfway through that coupling. And it would be glued and there would not be a gap. A lot of times, this is what you'll find. An improperly installed coupling will look like this. Can you see that white line? You see how far back the piece of Schedule 40 is from the white line? Even if another piece comes to that line, there's going to be a gap there. And as debris comes down the line, it gets stuck there. It also allows the roots to penetrate even easier. These are common mistakes that we see when we come out to work on these systems that have Schedule 40 PVC. Either the homeowner or even perhaps, you know, an inexperienced guy came out here and he made this mistake. He did not put that coupling together properly to begin with. So if we are cleaning a root system from Schedule 40 PVC, imagine what it's like cleaning a root system out of corrugated pipe. SDR 35. This is a this is a great material also. Good hacksaw, okay? Good blades, real important. And the secret is to cut all the way through. Try not to tilt your saw. If you do, it's going to come off at an angle. Nice clean cut, nice clean cut, very square, easy for the do-it-yourselfer, very easy. So cutting the thin wall PVC, it's kind of the same as the Schedule 40, and it's a lot easier to cut. You can see the hacksaw, a good sharp blade is going to make a world of difference. Notice I cut clear through. I cut all the way through and did not stop. And you can see, you can see how clean of a cut that is. Yeah, we need to clean off the burrs, but it's just like that brand new section. Very straight, very clean, easy to work with. This is four inch corrugated. And you can see it's a very strong material. That's why they've got their ridges in here. That gives it all the support, kind of like a bridge and an arch. The arch is what gives the bridge support. Same thing, hacksaw. We want to cut square down through here. Nice full length of the saw. And always cut clean through. If you do, you'll have a very nice piece of pipe all the way around, very flush, and this will work into any fitting that you need. Okay, I think you know that the Schedule 40 is not going to do anything when I stomp on it, but let's just stomp on it and find out. This is Schedule 40 PVC. It doesn't do anything, right? So let's try the next piece of pipe. This is SDR 35. And again, this is a, a scheduled PVC pipe. You'll know, you see this a lot. It's green, you see it inside the hardware stores. You probably even see it on the side of the road. Let's stomp on it and see what it does. Absolutely nothing, right? Same as the Schedule 40 PVC. Let's go to thin wall PVC and see what happens. Thin wall PVC. Let's look at that in slow motion.
Okay, can you see how it kind of went out of round? And it's still out of round, but you can see I'm just stomping on it and it definitely can get squished, right? That's just me stomping on the pipe. Next, let's go ahead and use a piece of corrugated, ADS corrugated. I'm gonna stomp on it. You'll see things shake, you know it's the same, right? Can you see that? It has a little indentation, just like the thin wall had the little indentation, but it's super strong material. So, you know, what's the best one to use for the rainwater drainage system? So, you know, the Schedule 40 PVC, that thing, that, there's no way I'm gonna be able to even dent that pipe. This SDR 35, pretty much the same way. And then we've got the corrugated, and then we have the thin wall PVC. You know what, they're pretty strong materials, right? But which one really works the best? You know, there's two choices. My choice, back in the late 80s, we started to install corrugated pipe. It's much more cost effective to run corrugated pipe or the thin wall PVC. You'll see a lot of jobs where we, you know, on my videos where we run uh, the thin wall PVC. And the corrugated pipe's great. It comes in 100 foot rolls. It can easily make, you know, uh, if, it's, if your trench isn't perfectly straight, it's kind of hard to turn this piece, but <laughs> if your trench isn't perfectly straight, you can bend the pipe a little. Uh, makes it a great, also a great pipe to install. It's not as strong as thin wall PVC. All of the pipe, the HDPE, that's high density polyethylene, makes no difference what kind of pipe it is. They're all the same. And you know, you can stomp on them and prove it to yourself. If you go to Menards, if you're up north, uh, take a piece of pipe out of there, stomp on it, see what it does. <laughs> Why not, right? Um, but let me show you one more stomp test that people have been criticizing and really curious about is is the quick and easy drain. Let me show you how strong that stuff is. It's amazing how strong this pipe is. Okay, here's a piece of the easy flow, the quick and easy drain. It's an old piece, been laying out in the yard for a long time. But let me just show you, I'm gonna stomp on it and take a look at this. You see that little depression? Well, that's styrofoam peanuts. And you can see nothing happened to them. All I did was displace the peanuts. This stuff is so strong. It is unbelievably strong. And you know, there's a lot of people asking me, this is not strong enough. I promise you that this material is very, very strong and will last a lifetime. But by far the best pipe to use, if you really want that long lasting uh, downspout drain, French drain, that would be to run the SDR 35. This material is so strong that you're, you're safe no matter what you drive over it in the yard. And we even put it underneath of driveways uh, so that people can drive over that. This, this works so good. This is the best material. And what's great about it, and what's great about the SDR 35 is it's available with the thin wall fittings. So it fits, all the fittings fit directly onto the pipe. It works great. Whether it be the T, or maybe it's a downspout adapter. They fit right on there. Best material, best thing to use is the SDR35. It is much more cost efficient to run the corrugated pipe, which holds up extremely well. There is no problem with this pipe. Um, it comes in 100 foot rolls. You know, it's, it's just, it's beautiful pipe. You can see how I can bend it. It's just perfect pipe for that. You know, when I pull up to an estimate, and I'll use a downspout drain as the example, when I see that there is Schedule 40 PVC down in that ground, underground, and say that they want to add another downspout, they want to add something to the system. Remember, the downspout drain is the most important drain in all rainwater drainage systems. Everything really should connect to the discharge of the downspout, everything. Uh, whether it be a yard drain, a French drain, the sump pump, channel drains, all these things should really connect to the downspout drain, which leads out to the street. So really there's just one line that goes out to the street. But let's just say they wanted to add another downspout. Uh, first I smile, I, I say, wow, you guys did a great job. Schedule 40, 
super, super strong, best material on the market. But then I cringe because I know how much work it will be for me to come in there, cut this pipe while it's underground, attach a T to add the next downspout, and schedule 40 back over to the other downspout. It's tremendous amounts of work, tremendous, and it's not needed. Schedule 40 is not the material that we should use for the rainwater drainage system. Um, it is, there's no reason for it at all. Number one, it doesn't fit any other material. In other words, the corrugated pipe and the thin wall PVC, we have fittings that we can put these two pipes together. And yes, they do make a fitting to do this. I'll show you that in a second, but it's so much work to come back and do this. And like I said, tree roots, they get in here. Uh, it can freeze if it's not deep enough. If you're up north, it can still freeze. It can heave up out of the ground. All those things. If you're, There's so many problems in using Schedule 40 PVC that is much better to use a different material for your rainwater drainage system. In a plumbing, you know, a sewer line, yes, I recommend it highly. I would not use anything else. Schedule 40 PVC is the way to go. But remember, that is a different type of system. This is rainwater drainage that we're talking about. And Schedule 40 PVC, it is not the material that we need to use. Another problem with Schedule 40 are the fittings. You know, just for example, let's say that you wanted a downspout adapter. You've got a three by four downspout and you want a downspout adapter. Well, there's no fitting made for that. And this will not fit. There's, this will not fit. So you've got to have an adapter to go from the thin wall PVC to the Schedule 40 PVC. I've shown you these many times. These are called no hub adapters. And we can put this around the Schedule 40 and then we can put the thin wall in here and really crank down this uh, clamp to make that tight. And that's one way to make the adapter, probably the best way to make the adapter. And then you put a piece of thin wall and you can put your three by four adapter up to your downspout. There's so many disadvantages of using Schedule 40 PVC, the list is pretty long. So even in Scheduled 40 PVC, glued and sealed properly, roots can get into this line. Maintenance is so important. You know, years ago before I opened up Apple Drains, I worked for Roto-Rooter and we cleaned thousands of drains a year, thousands of drains, whether it be Schedule 40, cast iron, terracotta, all these materials makes no difference. Roots get into these systems and you've got to maintain that line. We send the steel cable down the line, cut out all the roots, and then it's good to go for about seven more years, maybe eight years, whatever, but you've got to maintain the line. Schedule 40, it can get roots in it. It doesn't matter. Okay, so a quick review. The SDR35 is a really great PVC pipe for rainwater drainage. Best applications are actually under a drive. Um, you can run this in the yard as well. It works great. It'll probably last much longer than the corrugated pipe. It will probably last much longer, but it does come in 10 foot sections. So you have a lot more chances of roots penetrating each seam or each coupling. It does come with a belled end, so you can slide pieces together, but that does not stop the roots. Um, it doesn't tend to belly as much, so if your, sink, if your trench settles, you won't end up with a belly, you're going like that. Um, but again, this is probably the best material to put in the uh, rainwater drainage system. Thin wall PVC, this is also a great material. We saw, I stomped on this as hard as I could, and it just kind of dimpled it, and then it went out of round. Once that happens, by the way, once something goes out of round, it's gonna get worse. Weight of the ground, ground pressure, tree roots will wrap around it, and it will continue to collapse so much it becomes flat as a pancake. Corrugated pipe. You saw me go ahead and stomp on this. It hardly moves it at all. But again, once there is some compression in that pipe, it will get worse. So if that happens, if, if something ran over it, or usually a tree root wraps around the pipe and it begins to squish that pipe. It just, it takes a long time, but the roots grow around the pipe and they will collapse the pipe. Uh, other heavy equipment can also collapse the pipe. Or if it goes under uh, another pipe, I've showed you videos of why this stuff collapses. Um, when it goes under another pipe and then they backfill, sometimes that pipe that's on the top 
it will start to crush this and it will crush you know a huge section of the pipe so but yeah there's lots of different ways to use the pvc out there um schedule 40 pvc i strongly recommend that you do not use schedule 40 pvc whether you live in alaska or whether you live down here in florida neither one of those places needs schedule 40 pvc for your rainwater drainage system one final note this corrugated pipe which we've been using for i don't know how many years nearly 25 years um you know it, it works so good it's made of polyethylene there's a big difference this is not pvc there's po it's polyethylene and it becomes very strong uh, there is no pipe there is no pipe that is corrugated made of pvc just to let you know hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day